Washington 11, we're now less than one hour away from the governor's stay at home order taking full effect. 2 News reporter Kristen Escal breaks down what the order means and how it will be enforced. Mark and Brooke, the order requires people to simply stay at home, with some exceptions for work, errands, or travel deemed essential. All non essential businesses must close their, close their doors. Tonight, we spoke with some local law enforcement officials about how they'll enforce the governor's order. We've now moved from asking to basically telling people this is this is what it is. Governor Mike DeWine says he's in the process of talking with sheriffs and police chiefs across Ohio about his new stay at home order. The order allows people to go out only for essential needs like groceries, medication and care for a friend or family member. You're allowed to go outside for activities like walking or cycling as long as you keep a safe distance from others. Workers in fields deemed essential, including health care, transportation and critical manufacturing, are allowed to leave their homes. All other non-essential businesses must close their doors. Businesses, if you are working when you are non-essential, let me be, uh, let me assure you that your employees are going to call us. Dayton Mayor Nan Whaley oh, no. says that type of call will lead to swift enforcement. Officials say you could be penalized for violating the stay at home order, but the order doesn't say what specifically those penalties could be. Dayton Police Chief Richard Beal released a statement Monday saying repeat violators could face legal consequences. Montgomery County Sheriff Rob Streck says while his deputies will mainly issue warnings, he didn't rule out the possibility of arrests. Hopefully it don't come to that. I think most agencies would, would look at uh, alternative means as far as summons or citations. But yeah, if, if you get the right situation and the right set of circumstances, somebody could be arrested. And for the full text of the governor's stay-at-home order, which includes a list of the types of businesses deemed essential, head to our website, WDTN.com, and click on As Seen on 2 News. Kristen Escow, 2 News, working for you.